Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this video clip, I will show you how to do homogeneity of variance test in SPSS, uh, i.e. the Levens test. I'm going to show you four different ways to do it. To start with, I have here a data for 40 individuals. They are divided into four groups in each group group a to d in each group there are 10 participants or individual or cases and a score has been recorded for each individual and we need to look at the uh, uh, heterogeneity or homogeneity of variance between all these four groups before we start doing that Test, uh, first step to do is to plot your data on a scattered plot, scattered or dot plot. And the way to do that is to go click on graph, click on legacy, scroll down to scattered or scatter dot, then click on overlay scatter, click on define. Here I'm going to move again it does tell you where do you want to put the group in x and y axis group uh, groups will put the groups in uh, um, in the scores in the y axis and the groups in the uh, x axis and then title will not do uh, change anything and here will not do anything and then we click on ok and then a scatter uh, plots scattered or uh, scatter or dot dot will appear and as we can see here we can it's fairly to indicate that the variants are homogeneous between those four groups however we will do the test the first test that we will the first way to do the Levens test is to click on analyze scroll down to descriptive statistics and then scroll down to explore and then here we want to move the group groups into the factor list and the scores into the dependent list and if we cl click on statistics <coughs> we're not going to do any changes on the click on the plots i'm going to untick this descriptive for stem and left we're not interested in normality so we're going to um, do uh, there is a here and a square is here area says that spread versus levels level with leaving test so we're going to click on untransformed and uh, so we need to do the levels test click on continue however in options we're not going to do any changes so if i click on ok then the SPSS will generate an output. Of course, it will give a case processing summary that you have 10 samples in each group, you have four group groups, and then it will give you the mean, the range, and so on. And then here in a small table, it's giving a calculated the homogeneity of variance using Levin's test. And as you can see here, the value, the significant and generated the p-value. And we can see here from the uh, p-value, the, the p-value is uh, about point or point 0.4. So that still, it is non-significant. Thus, we reject the null. Uh, sorry, uh, the, they, are, they are not significant. Thus, we accept the null hypothesis. And that indicates that the data have homogeneity of variance. This is the first method to do a uh, Levin's test. Another method is to click on analyze, scroll down to compare means, and then I'm going to click on uh, independent samples t-test because uh, Levin's test is a prerequisite for this test and it's part of this test so we're going to move the groups into sorry the groups into the grouping variable and then i'm going to set here i can select which group to go to uh, because it's two two sample two for two groups and we have two or four groups 
either I can go uh, um, select two groups together, one with two, one with three, and one with four, or two with three, or two, two with four, or three with four. Here I will stick to one with two and click continue. And then I'm going to move the score to the test variable. And I'll uh, look, click on option, and we're going to keep it as it is. And then I click on OK. Would you click on OK? The t-test will generate a table calculating for you the value for the t-test. But what we're interested in here is it does automatically generate Levin's test of equality of variance and uh, between group number A and group number B. And it's uh, the significant, it calculates the p-value. The p-value was found to be uh, uh, greater than 0.05. So uh, this indicates that uh, there is equality of um, variance or homogeneity. So this is the second way of doing a Levin's test. A third way is if we click on Analyze, and then again compare means we're going to use here the test of one way ANOVA in one way ANOVA I'm going to move the scroll to the dependent list and then the groups into the factor again one way, one way ANOVA is going to compare the four groups together so I'm not going here to select it doesn't give me an option to select which group to group together so it's look at the overall uh, variance in all four groups. If I click in contrast, I'm not going to do any changes. Post hoc is not an interest currently for us. Options. In this option, it's, it's significant to go for statistic and click on the homogeneity of variance test. And then click on continue. And if you hit the button for OK again, the one way ANOVA will calculate the p-value for the test, Levin's test, and um, and this in this small table which says test of homogeneity of variance, it's worked out to be 0.4, which is greater than 0.05, so it is not significant here, the value, so that's where we can here accept the null hypothesis, and we can say here that there is an equal or homogeneity of variance between samples. This is the third way to do a uh, Levin's test. A fourth way is to again go through, click on analyze, and then look for, um, click on general linear model, and then click on univariates. In univariates, again, the group, the dependent variable is the score. We move this into the dependent variable. And the groups, we move that into the box of fixed factors. On the right-hand side, I'm going to double-click on this uh, universal univariate uh, model. Just keep it as it is. Contrast, we keep it as it is. Plot, we are not interested currently in doing the plot. Post hoc is not an interest currently. I will save options. Here in options, you have in the display, there are different icons. So if we click, tick this homogeneity test and then click on continue and then hit the button for OK, the test, the SPSS will do Levin's test of equality of error of variance. And again, it worked out the pay value and found to be 0.4. Thus, uh, the, the variance between groups is homogeneous. The p-value is greater than 0.05. So we accept the null hypothesis. So by this way, I had shown you four different way to do Levin's test. The first way is through descriptive. The second way through ANOVA. Third way through t-test and fourth way through univariate.